Hey everyone, Matt from Generator Mart here. And if you've been on the internet over the last couple of years, you may or may not have seen some fictionalized pictures going around of things like Tesla's towing diesel generators while they're still plugged into the car to give the car more power. But it does bring up a good question. Can you actually use a generator like one of the ones in front of me to charge an electric vehicle? We're gonna answer that question and take a look at how these vehicles get charged in our video today. So the first thing to know about before we actually dive into these generators is just how EVs, especially Teslas, get charged. And with Teslas, there are three types of charging. There is a level one charging with 120 volt input. There's a level two charging with 240 volt input. And there is DC charging, which is direct current. And all of these are going to charge at different speeds and have different capabilities of how they can be used. So the different levels of charging are actually really easy to break down. Level one charging is what you can get as soon as you bring a Tesla home and put it in your garage. It's 120 volt. It's just a standard plug from your car into an outlet in your home. And this is a very slow type of charging. This is only going to charge between three and five miles of range per hour. When you get up to level two charging, that's when you get into 240 volt and much faster charging. This is done with something like Tesla's wall charger, which a lot of people are putting into their homes these days. This charging is much faster and can get you up to 40 plus miles of range per hour that it's on the charger. And finally, there's DC charging. This is things like your superchargers and your dedicated charging centers. You're not gonna find this in your home, so it's really not worth talking a lot about here. Other than that, it is the fastest charging you can have, and it will fully recharge a Tesla in about 20 to 25 minutes. So now that you know the different levels of charging, let's take a look at how these apply to generators. So let's start with something like this Honda in front of me. This is going to provide you an easy level one charge, which again is slow. It's three to five miles of range per hour of charging. But this is the easiest way to do it if you just wanna take your standard Tesla charger and plug it into a wall outlet like what this Honda has on its faceplate. This is gonna be a very slow charge, but in an emergency situation, it can get you by. Now, if you're watching this at home and you're saying to yourself, 50 miles might sound good, but it's not enough to get me through the day, you can still do level two charging using a generator as well. The biggest importance here is that you need a generator capable of producing 240 volts. And the easiest way to do this is get something with a 50 amp plug, just like this one. With an adapter between your Tesla charger and a 50 amp plug, this will allow you to kick into level two charging, which will significantly increase your range. This level of charging, again, will get you up to 40 miles of range per hour of charging. And if left plugged in overnight, will get you a full charge to be ready to go in the morning. The other thing you can do to get yourself some more charging options, and obviously this is for more than just charging your EV, is add a whole home standby generator. This will make it so that if you do lose power at your home or have an emergency situation like that, you won't have to worry about going and getting your generator and turning it on and doing all these things. A home standby will do all that for you. It will automatically turn on when the power goes out at your house and it will continue charging your EV just like the power never went out. As long as your charger is hooked to one of the circuits that this generator is powering. It's the easiest way to do it. And while it is the most expensive way to do it as well, it gets you the most versatility for your home. So if you went into this video wondering, is it even possible in an emergency to charge my EV with a generator? The answer is yes. As long as you are aware that you're not going to get a full charge in half an hour like you would at a supercharger. This isn't going to be a last minute fix if you need to get out of the house right away. But if you're in a situation where you have an evening power outage, feel free to put that EV on a generator and it might not charge it instantly, but if you go with the level two, you'll get a full tank overnight. And if you go with the level one, you'll still get about 50 to 60 miles of range, which can be perfect for running your daily essential tasks. And if you do have any questions about any of the generators pictured here or charging your EV using a generator, really any questions at all, 
feel free to leave them down in the comments below this video or send them to our team. You can reach us via our email address, our phone number, or visiting our store here in Brighton, Colorado, and we've always got people standing by to answer your questions and pair you with the right generator for your needs.